As I walked home alone on that dark, stormy night, a sense of unease settled over me like a suffocating blanket. The wind howled through the trees, its mournful wails piercing the air. The rain poured down relentlessly, as if nature itself wept in anticipation of the horrors that awaited me. As I turned a corner, I saw a flickering street lamp casting eerie shadows on the pavement. And there, amidst the shadows, stood a figure, a stranger. My heart skipped a beat and a cold shiver ran down my spine. Something about the stranger's presence felt deeply unsettling, as if they were a harbinger of something far more sinister. I quickened my pace, hoping to pass by unnoticed. But as I drew nearer, the stranger turned their head, their face hidden beneath a tattered hood. Dread washed over me and my instincts screamed at me to run. Yet an inexplicable curiosity compelled me to approach, against my better judgment. Excuse me, I said, my voice quivering. Do you need any help? The words hung in the air, unanswered. The stranger remained silent, their gaze fixed on me, penetrating my very soul. Fear mingled with fascination as I tried to discern their features, but the darkness concealed their face like a veil of mystery. Suddenly, a flash of lightning illuminated the area, casting an ethereal glow upon the stranger. In that fleeting moment, I caught a glimpse of their face, an image that will forever haunt my nightmares. Their visage was distorted, as if melting and reforming in a grotesque dance. Their eyes were hollow sockets, devoid of life, and their mouth was a gaping void, emanating an unholy darkness. Terror gripped me, threatening to paralyze my every movement. The stranger's unearthly appearance defied all logic and reason. Panic surged within me as I tried to comprehend the horrors that stood before me. I stumbled backward, my mind reeling with disbelief and a primal instinct to flee. But just as I was about to turn and run, the stranger reached out, their hands stretching unnaturally, beckoning me to stay. The voice that escaped their mouth was a haunting whisper, barely audible above the howling wind. Do not be afraid, they said. I have something to show you. Against my better judgment, curiosity gripped me like a vice. I couldn't resist the pull of the unknown, the promise of forbidden knowledge that lay before me. With hesitant steps, I moved closer to the stranger, the scent of decay and despair hanging in the air. The stranger raised their hand, pointing toward an old, decrepit house standing in the distance. Its windows were shattered, and the facade was cloaked in an aura of desolation. Shadows danced within, whispering secrets that sent shivers down my spine. Unable to resist the lure of the mysterious house, I followed the stranger stepping over broken shards of glass and navigating through overgrown weeds. The creaking of the front door echoed through the stillness, a chilling prelude to the horrors that awaited me inside. As we entered, the atmosphere grew heavier, suffocating me with a sense of impending doom. The air was thick with a putrid stench, and a cold draft sent a shiver down my spine. The stranger moved with an eerie grace, their steps echoing through the dilapidated halls. Each room we entered revealed a new nightmare. Distorted portraits stared back at me from the walls, their eyes following my every move. Shadows danced on the decaying wallpaper, whispering secrets that I dared not decipher. The house seemed to breathe, its very essence alive with malevolence. In the darkest corner of the house, we reached a door that seemed to radiate an otherworldly energy. The stranger turned to me, their hollow eyes piercing my soul. Beyond this door, they murmured, lies a truth that few have witnessed. Prepare yourself for what you are about to see will forever change you. My heart raced with a mix of anticipation and dread. With trembling hands, I pushed open the door, revealing a room bathed in an eerie glow. Before me stood a mirror, its surface shimmering with an ethereal light. As I gazed into its depths, I saw not my own reflection, but a distorted version of reality. Images flickered within the mirror. Horrific scenes of suffering, despair, and unimaginable terrors. Faces contorted in agony, grotesque creatures lurking in the shadows, and the all-consuming darkness that threatened to swallow everything in its path. I recoiled in horror, unable to tear my eyes away from the nightmarish visions that unfolded before me. Suddenly, the room grew colder, and a chilling whisper enveloped me. This is the reflection of the world beyond, the stranger whispered, a glimpse into the true nature of existence. Their words echoed in my mind, intertwining with the nightmarish images that played out before me. With a surge of terror, I realized that the faceless stranger was not a mere observer, but an embodiment of the darkness that permeated the mirror. 
They had lured me into their web, using my own curiosity against me. My soul trembled as I understood the true nature of the horrors that had unfolded. Desperation welled within me and I turned to flee, but the room seemed to warp and twist, its walls closing in around me. The mirror's reflections multiplied, filling my vision with an onslaught of nightmares. The faceless stranger reached out, their cold, skeletal fingers brushing against my trembling form. As their touch made contact, a searing pain shot through me, as if my very essence was being consumed. Darkness closed in around me, threatening to devour my sanity. I fought against it with every ounce of strength I had left, struggling to break free from the clutches of this eldritch nightmare. In one final surge of defiance, I tore myself away from the stranger's grasp. I stumbled backward, crashing through the shattered window pane and into the stormy night. Rain soaked my clothes, washing away the remnants of the horrors I had witnessed. I ran, fueled by fear, and the desperate need to escape the clutches of that accursed house. Since that fateful night, I've never been the same. The faceless stranger's presence lingers in my thoughts, an ever-present reminder of the terrors that lie just beyond our perception. I am plagued by nightmares, tormented by the distorted faces and the haunting whispers that echo in the darkest corners of my mind. I've become a shell of my former self, forever haunted by that encounter. The line between reality and nightmare has blurred, and I find myself constantly questioning the nature of existence. I warn others to heed the whispers of the wind, to flee from the unknown, for there are horrors in this world that defy comprehension. So I wander through life, forever changed, forever burdened by the weight of that night. And as the darkness encroaches upon my every thought, I can't help but wonder if the faceless stranger still walks among us, waiting patiently for the next unsuspecting soul to cross their path. Are you prepared to embark on a haunting journey delving into the depths of nightmare memoirs? Will you dare to uncover the chilling secrets that lurk in the shadows? Join us and become a fearless seeker of all things spooky. Subscribe and like if you dare to traverse the shadowy depths with us.